بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته One of the social aspects of Arabia at the time of the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم was to have gatherings or assemblies on a regular basis and the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم used to have such thing this is called sometimes in Arabic Al-Nadi or Dar Nadwa among other names like Diwan etc. This is mentioned in the Holy Quran the name Falyad'u Nadiyah let him call his club his gathering and his people and supporters and in the other Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayuha al-lazina amanu idha qila lakum tafassahu fil majalis and majlis mentioned also in the Holy Quran etc. Now how was the Assembly of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What was it like? This is very long and lengthy, but we try to summarize it, inshallah, in the most important points. The first one is about preparation to receive people. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had a special garment called Jubba, similar to the, the concept is similar to something similar to that, something to wear on top of the cloth to receive people. Asma bint Abi Bakr radiallahu anhuma. She brought out a jubba and she said, this belonged to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he will receive the invoice, people who come to visit him, he will wear it. So when you, wear, when you are in assembly or in a gathering or receiving your guests, you should put on your best attire and uh, attend to them with beauty, both in your characteristics as well as in your appearance. Another point at the time of the Messenger وسلم, was to greet people who come over. The envoy of Abd Qais, when they came to visit the Messenger وسلم, he greeted them and he said, welcome to the envoy that is visiting. They themselves mentioned how the Messenger وسلم, and his companion received them. He said, when we reached there, they received us with smiles and they were happy with our coming. And when we approached the Messenger وسلم, he greeted us and they made the space for us to sit and we sat there and the Messenger وسلم, greeted us, prayed for us, supplicated for our well-being and then uh, he listened to us, looked toward us and listened to what we had to say. And uh, another aspect is to, when greeting people and uh, replying to their greeting, this is something important in Islam. Saying salam and uh, replying to the salam. This was also practiced in the assembly of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One thing that is important to put in your mind is to make space for people who are coming. Whether they are guests or regulars. Allah Almighty said in the Holy Quran, O oh, you who believe. When it is said to you to make a space while in an assembly, then make space. If it's possible, and somebody wants to sit somewhere, and it is a possibility to sit there, the sunnah is to make place for them. This is better for you, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned. This is more purification to you and to your hearts. Because maybe that person had a private question, for example. Maybe he has difficulty hearing and he wants to get closer so that he will hear. Maybe he has difficulty in his eyesight and he needs to get closer to be able to see and so on. You do not know what the situation of that person might be. So when somebody is insisting to come close for whatever reason, the sunnah is to make space for him. And another important point in this uh, is sitting humbly and in a respectful manner. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to sit humbly in front of his uh, v uh, visitors. Some people in their assembly, they practice the rule of a king or a minister. So they sit in a haughty way uh, with pride and as if they own the place and own everybody in that place and speak with this concept of authority. That is not the way the Messenger وسلم, used to be. That is, is not the way the noble people do it. In front of your visitors, you should be equal to them and humble in front of them and respect their visit as well as they should also respect the, uh, you and the person in the gathering. So this mutual respect and understanding and humbleness is uh, important uh, and was practiced by the Messenger وسلم, and his followers.